when we're talking about direction, this way, I'm really talking about the angle of that vector. So let's take, um, and I'm going to alternate the different ways that we can write it. That's three in the horizontal direction, seven in the vertical direction. So if I drew this on my graph, I'd be going right three, one, two, three, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I almost ran out of room. So here's my vector. When I'm talking about the direction, I'm really talking about this angle right here. Now if I complete this, I get this lovely right triangle. Well, it should be right, but I drew it badly. And this side would be 3, and this side would be 7. This side is opposite, and this side is adjacent. So, to find that angle, the tangent is going to be 7 over 3. It's going to be the y vertical distance divided by the horizontal distance. To find the angle, we're going to do inverse tangent of 7 over 3. I would make sure you were in degrees. And I've got a calculator, but you, um, there are scientific calculators on most computers, um, so you don't have to actually, I'm in degrees, have a scientific, I mean, have a graphing calculator. This is scientific, works just fine on this as well. And I get 66.8. Actually, in Khan Academy, they have a calculator in there that is, um, can do this for you. Let's take the next one. Okay, 4, negative 5. So let's think about where that one is. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down here. So for this one, the angle I'm really wanting is this angle. But the angle I can find is this one. And remember, this is the reference angle here. This is the true angle. So we've got to do a couple of steps on this one. So first off, I'm going to do the tangent just like we did a minute ago. Tangent, but this time it's of the reference angle, is going to be the y over the x, so the vertical over the horizontal. And then I would have to do inverse 10 of negative 5 over 4. Inverse 10, negative 5 over 4. And I get that the reference angle is negative 51.3. Because it's going backwards, 51.3. But if I wanted the big angle, the real angle, well, it's almost to 360. It's short of it by 51.3. So my real angle, I would take 360 minus that 51.3 and get 308.6 or 0.7 actually degrees. I'm going to give you another one. Let's try it. Um, K equals Here's this one. What angle do we really want? We want this one. But the angle we're going to find is going to be this little one. So, tangent of the reference angle is going to be the vertical component divided by the horizontal component. So I'm going to be doing inverse tan of negative one-half 
and I get that the reference angle is 26.6. Well, that's how far away I am from that x-axis, and that would be 180 degrees. So it's 153.4 degrees.